Hey guys, this is James from Isotropic, and in this video we're going to be talking about parallax and how to incorporate parallax effects on an Oxygen Builder website. So first I'm going to show you what we're going to kind of do here. Um, we're going to be using a JavaScript library called Paroller.js, and this is one of my favorite parallax libraries for anything, but it's very easy to use in Oxygen, and this is what we're making. Um, we can do horizontal foreground element parallax, so this could be an image, this could be um, a div with everything included inside of it, uh, you could just have standard text, um, you can go horizontal left to right, you can go vertical up and down, and you, here you see um, that example. You can also do it on the background, and this is included in the same library. Um, so here's a background parallax effect, and this is something that a lot of people say is missing from Oxygen. So this tutorial should show you that it's really easy to incorporate this in, even if there's no built-in effect in Oxygen. And then here's a, another example, and I'm going to show you how to incorporate this using multiple different methods, ways, um, and the whole nine yards. So this is what we're making. Let's go and make it. First, here is our JavaScript library. Um, that's the link and you can get to it by just looking up paroller.js. Um, it's a lightweight jQuery plugin and it enables parallax scrolling effects on selected elements. So very easy to use and there are um, a few ways to go about incorporating it on your website. Um, here's the documentation, fairly detailed documentation. You don't even need this video. Um, here's a couple more examples on how you can use it. Uh, and let's get into adding it to our site. So the way I'm going to do this is by using a CDN. So I'm going to CDN.js, uh, looking up Paroller.js, and then copying the URL. Um, and I want to show you there are a couple ways to incorporate this. The way I incorporate this is through Advanced Scripts. Um, advanced Scripts is an Oxygen, it's an add-on, and it's made for the Oxygen ecosystem. It basically replaces um, code snippets and it comes with a lot of functionality. I'll leave a link in the description below for it. And the way we're going to do this is by simply, I'm actually going to delete this and just do it from scratch and kind of show you how this works. Um, I'm going to simply make a new JS paroler and then I'm going to load from URL, paste our URL in here and then load it from the footer, click enable and now it's enabled site wide. Um, something else you can do if you want to self-host it, uh, minimize the requests that are being sent to and from your site, you can go to that URL that you just pasted in there, copy this code, and this is really interesting. This is all the code that makes up all of those parallax effects that I just showed you. So um, really neat and something very interesting just to consider. It's a really lightweight script, and you can do that by pasting in custom JavaScript code. You can also make a JavaScript um, you can download this as JavaScript and then upload it to your site. There are a lot of ways to go about this. I'm going to stick with the, the CDN. So now we have our CDN. Uh, the script is being called in the footer of our website, so it shouldn't impact the loading of it. And uh, now basically it's time to go in and incorporate the paroler um, effects in the, in the site. So the way I did this, this is just an example. Um, you need to add the script to the site, so that's what we just did. Then we need to um, initialize the script on the page. So you can do that in a couple of ways. I'll show you the way I'm doing it here. And then you need to apply the effects to the page. So first, um, we're going to initialize the script by adding a code block to the, um, the page that we want the parallax on. So you can do this on an individual page to initialize the script on an individual page. You can do this on a global template to initialize the script on a global um, basis. So you could do it on like a header footer. Um, or you could go and do it in advanced scripts um, as its own little snippet to initialize the library. Couple ways to do it. I'm doing it with a single page, a single code block, and this is what you need to initialize it. So um, this is basically taken directly from the documentation here. Um, it says basically just incorporate the script into the page, and then initialize paroller.js. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. You'll notice that this is uh, a little, little money sign, and I've replaced that with jQuery because it won't work. This is a jQuery plugin, so it won't work on your 
um, oxygen site unless you replace that with jQuery. So just keep that in mind, replace it with jQuery. Uh, and then set up a custom, uh, a custom class. So I use PLOX for all my parallax effects in the site. Um, and then uh, that's really it. And that's the only thing you need here. Uh, one other thing I wanted to mention, because not many people know this, uh, if you want to get rid of the hello world but not have the no code thing, just remove hello world from the PHP, keep that tag there, and uh, your code block won't show anything. All right, so now um, we have initialized the script, and we simply need to apply the effects to our respective elements. And this is really easy. There are a couple ways to do it. The first way is through data attributes. The second way is through jQuery. And I'm going to show you how to do both of them. First, we're going to do data attributes because I think they're probably the easiest way to go about incorporating parallax effects. And the way to do that is simply, very simple, use a combination of these data attributes. So first, I'm going to quickly run through what each of these do. Um, parolar factor is uh, the speed of how fast the parallax effect is applied to the page. So if you have um, a speed of 1, it's going to be really fast. If you have a speed of um, 0 0.0001, it's going to be almost impossible to see. A negative speed means it's going to go the opposite direction as a pos positive speed, and you can mess around with that um, as you will. The parolar type, foreground or background. So foreground is any element that's in the foreground. Background is any like background image that you're trying to scroll. So if we look at the demo, this is a foreground, this is a background. Very simple to understand. And then um, the direction, vertical or horizontal, the default value is vertical. And also I want to mention for the type, the default value is background. Um, so you don't need to specify background if you're applying it to the background um, effect. The default direction is vertical. If you're trying to go horizontal, you need to add the attribute data paroler direction horizontal. And then data paroler transition. Um, if it is set to foreground, you can add a custom CSS transition into the page. And I'm not going to show you how to do that because I never use it, but very simple. You just specify the transition here and that's the transition that you get. So let's look at how we can add this to our individual pages. So there's a two-step process here. You find your element that you want to apply the effect to, and all of these are foreground elements. So let's say I want to make this guy um, scroll. The first thing to do is add the, the custom class that you have specified in your initialization of the script. So in this case, it's PLAX, and it's a class. Um, so we're going to add our custom class of PLAX, and you just do that by entering the class name uh, and hitting enter, and then PLAX is applied. We're not going to be associating any styles to this in Oxygen, so notice there's nothing here, um, and that's because we're using this class on multiple different types of elements, so you don't want to do that for any like global custom styles in Oxygen. And now the only other thing to do is add our attributes. So here's the the attributes that you add and you go to um, advanced and then you scroll down to attributes and then you add a combination of the attributes that you need. So um, we're adding our factor first and our factor is going to be 0 0.3 which is kind of a standard scrolling parallax effect. Um, if we do uh, a lower factor closer to 0 then it's going to be um, it's going to be slower. If we do a higher attribute, it's going to be a lot quicker. Um, keep in mind, I like, I mean, at least for me, I like doing a lot of really subtle parallax. I think it gives depth depth to the page. So I'm usually using something like 0 0.03 or 0 0.05. It's very, um, it's barely noticeable, but it adds a little cool effect to the page um, in, in your final project. Um, this is a this has to be specified. This is a foreground element. It's there's no background image here. We're not doing anything related to the background. This is foreground. And I'm making this slide left. So this is horizontal. Uh, if we go here, you can see the same thing is is true. You have your actual element, we've applied our parallax class to it. And then we have applied our attributes. But the only difference here is that this is a negative. So this is going to make this direction go opposite to this direction. So when you're doing horizontal, negative goes right um, and positive goes left. Then we're also going to do this on our um, other elements. I want this one to go up when you scroll the page down. I want this to go down when you scroll the page down. And the way I do that is um, apply the 
PLAX class or whatever class you specified in the initialization, um, and then specify that uh, the factor is three and the type is foreground. And keep in mind, the default data attribute direction is vertical. So we don't need to say that this is going vertical because the default is vertical. So there's there's no need to add that. If you want to add that, feel free, but all we need is factor and type. Uh, and then this is going down, so the factor is negative, but we're keeping everything else the same. Very simple, very easy. Here's what it looks like on the front end. So this goes down as we scroll the page down. This goes up, left, right. Um, very simple. Uh, I usually like layering multiple elements. I use much smaller factors. I use like 0 0.05, as I said before. Um, and I, I have these parallax effects paired with like a smooth scrolling effect. Um, and it really just adds depth to the page. Um, just a great effect all around. All right, so now we're going to head to our background. This background is simply a section. The section has the class PLAX applied to it because this um, tells the parallax effect to, to work on this element, as you can see here. Um, and our attributes are simply, and we can see the settings here, it's just a hundred view, viewing height height. Um, and we have our background, we're using an unsplash source URL of just like a plain wing that I found. And the attributes are very simple here. Um, data paroler type is background, data paroler factor is 0 0.3. That's it. And we actually don't even need to specify background because you can see that it defaults to background. So all you need to do to apply a background parallax effect to oxygen is add the paroler, initialize the paroler, add the custom class, and then add a single attribute that says factor um, 0 0.3 or anything you want. And here is what it looks like on the front end. Very simple, basic parallax effect adds depth to your page. Very simple. Just really a great, um, great little parallax library for any website, but Oxygen is really easy to use. Something else to consider here is that this is still a section and adding this parallax effect doesn't change anything in relation to that. So if we wanted to add our um, like a random text or just build columns over it or really do anything um, in regards to that, it still functions like a normal column. The parallax effect is not applied to anything but the background. So you can see the text remains the same um, unless you want to apply a parallax effect. And that's about it. So to recap, all you need to do is um, get the CDN or get the script, add the script to your website. You can do that by um, using something like advanced scripts. You can use code snippets. You can also go and uh, copy and paste the actual script tag and throw that into a code block um, at the top of your content like so, like so. So that's a script tag. Just put that in a code block that would we'll call the script. Um, then you simply need to initialize the script. And also notice, because I deleted the PHP, as I mentioned before, it shows up no code found. So if you just have that PHP tag, that goes away. Um, then you need to simply initialize it. So initialize it like so. Here's your custom class that calls the parallax. Um, and then we replace the dollar sign with jQuery because that's just how WordPress and Oxygen work. So any jQuery code, just replace this. This is what you would add and you would get an error here and it wouldn't work. You just do jQuery, apply the code, everything works perfectly. Um, so we have our custom class and we take the custom class and we just find the element that we want it to uh, be applied to. We want this to s go up and down and, and move around as we scroll. So the way I'll do that is by adding the custom class of PLAX. Notice that there's no styling associated with PLAX because I'm using that on a heading, I'm using that on a div, I'm using that on a section. Um, then we just go to attributes and add the data paroler factor type direction and we can also add a CSS transition. Um, just really simple stuff and the CSS transition works in relation to your scrolling on the page. I never use it so uh, it's just I'm not showing that here. Um, 
simply add it and uh, and specify the settings that you want. The settings are here. The settings are also discussed in the attached blog post to this um, to this video. And then uh, and then that's it. I mean, you're done. It's very simple. Um, apply it to a background like so. Apply it to foreground elements. This could be anything um, that you find in here other than a background image. I mean, you could add it to an icon. You could add it to a video, uh, text, anything. Um, and then the final thing I want to mention is that you don't need to do it this way. So the way we do it is um, initialize it with and initialize it and specify a custom class um, and then add the data attributes in accordance. In this example, you, you may remember that at the bottom, there's another one that goes like this. So I it's it's really weird on the oxygen site. It doesn't show up. But here's our div that on the front end is this. And this div, you may notice there's no parallax class applied to it, but it still moves as a parallax element. And the way we do this is this is the other way of incorporating parallax into your site. Here, instead of the code block of just initializing the parallax and applying it to a class and then using that class to specify the data attribute here, we actually specify the div and then we specify the um, associated movement of that div. So we forego the, the data attributes in class addition and we just say this is the div and this is what we want applied to the div. And the way I do it is through data attributes, but if you want to do it in a different manner, this might actually be a easier, quicker way to do things because you don't have to go into the attributes and add the attribute and then edit the attribute. All you have to do is this, and you could probably even, I haven't done this before, but you could probably just copy and paste and add it, a, a big chunk of code to your site and specify everything to, to be parallax. So, um, that's just another way to do it. So to recap, um, to recap, simply look up paroler.js, look through this. This really gives you a good understanding of how it works. You don't need to know anything about JavaScript. Then with that, um, add the, the paroler script to your site. Um, I use a CDN for this example, um, using advanced scripts, which is linked in the description below. I really like this tool. Um, a lot of benefits you can enable and disable for debugging. Just a really great tool built specifically for the oxygen ecosystem by the same dude who made uh, hydrogen pack. So we add it with uh, CDN. We can also upload the script file. We can also um, copy and paste it into a custom JavaScript uh, code. We can paste it into a code block using a script tag in HTML. We can paste it in using the JavaScript. Then we, uh, we initialize it and we say we want this effect to apply to this class. And then we add the class to each individual element that we want to be moving in a parallax fashion like so. And then the final step is simply adding the attribute, saving the page, and uh, you have a page that functions like this. And you can do this to your heart's content. I like doing minimal effects. I also like layering effects. So for example, there could be this one, which has a factor of 0.3. There could be one behind it with 0.2, and there can be one behind it with 0.1. And it will kind of like expand on the page. There's a lot of things that you can do with parallax effects in Oxygen that's just really neat and will make your website stand out. So hopefully this was a beneficial video. Um, feel free to check the link in the description below. It links to a write-up about how to use this library. Basically does restates everything in this video on, uh, on text. And uh, that's how to do it. That's how I do it. Um, there are a couple other libraries out there. I've used Relax before. I've used Lax.js. I've used Locomotive Scroll. I've used a lot of libraries. I think for beginners and for very simple parallax effects, you can't get much better than this simply because the code is so small and lightweight and it's just really easy to incorporate using the native features of Oxygen, such as adding the class and adding the data attributes. So if you found this video interesting and helpful, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And I have now been asking people, when you do give a thumbs down, tell me in the comment section why so I can improve. Um, and give me a subscription if you think uh, the channel deserves it. I'm going to be doing a lot more content related to Oxygen as I'm incorporated and involved in that community. And I use this tool to build professional websites.
um, all the time. So uh, hopefully this was good, and uh, until the next video.